I do not progress, profess to be an expert in these matters. I'm just showing you what frustrated me in trying to get macros to work in Kingsoft and what I've learned so far. For the sake of this example, we'll open a new book. We'll name the book something other than what it says as project. So we've saved it now. Ignore that move. This is the name we've given it and it'll also appear up there. This is it what we eventually want to arrive at. Click that button, it goes down the screen. Click this one, it goes back up to D1. Click the shape, it goes down to D100. This helps you get round big worksheets. We'll make a button and I've changed the colour. Well, it's an object, not a button. going into developer mode just to show what it looks like. This is eventually where you'll put your macro but we need to write the macro and we need to make it work in the name that we've given it for the worksheet. There's no wrap macro facility in Kingsoft Spreadsheet Pro. So you have to put it in the VBI language and this is what it looks like. This will be the name we'll give the macro. GODX. No spaces. Can have an underscore. And then we'll tell it to go to sheet one, select sheet one, and then tell it to go range and choose cell 150. This is what the actual script will look like. Sheet, bracket, speech mark, sheets one, etc. This macro will make the sheet go down to G150. We'll go back to developer mode. can't see where I'm moving the cursor here but we've gone on developer and then macro we're going to give the macro a name go underscore dex we're going to tell it where we want it to work in this spreadsheet now create ignore where the green the green apostrophes are uh, drop down a line so we're not in the area of comments and then start to write sheets sheets not sheet of course sheets one that's the first sheet that could be anything you could have named the sheet anything it would be sheet five sheet two whatever you wanted it to go and select that sheet range where do we want it to go in that sheet? It could be a name, but in this case we'll give it a cell number. Or cell code. So we're going to give it a cell G150. And we'll run it to see what happens. There's a mistake. What's the mistake? We've told it to go to the sheet. We've told it where we want it to go but we haven't told it to select where we want it to go. So I've copied and pasted select, run it, and it's gone down. See the blue area underneath it shows that it's gone down the sheet. It runs OK.
so now we need to assign that to the shape remember it says button there but it's actually a button object it's not a button click on the side there to put it to bring up this drop down that says assign macro and it'll bring the macro sheets up we've clicked on which macro we want clicked on it and it's gone down now that I've put another shape in there while you weren't looking <laughs> so that works now we have to do the same with the bottom of the sheet the shape at the bottom of the sheet so it takes us back up to the top of the sheet so my intention was to have an index on the first page and then go to other sheets and calculations so it's much the same sheet one range g6 gone into developer then macro developer macro now we need to give it another name we'll call it go g6 with an underscore we'll tell it we wanted to in go we wanted to work in the king soft uh, workbook and it'll come up with create there we are and we're going to create it and for for brevity I've just taken the copied the top there highlighted it copy and pasted it there remember not to paste it where there's a green apostrophe and just change G150 to G6. We'll run it. Run, and there it is. It's worked. So that macro works. Now we've got to assign that macro to the bot button at the bottom, the same as we to the shape of the object at the bottom the same as we did this yellow object anywhere in a big worksheet 